With over 25 years of experience providing high-quality cardiovascular ultrasound education to physicians and technologists, the Pacific Vascular Institute for Continuing Medical Education, and in combination with the Swedish Neuroscience Institute, offers a three-day course on how to perform and interpret transcranial Doppler studies. The course is offered at the Swedish Medical Campus in Seattle. This course is taught in a state-of-the-art facility by recognized leaders using actual case studies. Technologists and physicians share their years of experience to provide useful knowledge. You will be instructed in the various applications and settings in which transcranial Doppler is performed, including the vascular laboratory, emergency room, neurosurgical arena, and operating room. There are hands-on training sessions that include scanning live models with and without pathology and practical scanning techniques. Some of the major topics include performance of TCD in patients with extracranial occlusive disease, functional vasomotor reactivity testing, monitoring during carotid stenting and endarterectomy, diagnosis of intracranial stenosis and acute intracranial occlusion, diagnosis of vasospasm secondary to subarachnoid hemorrhage, and detection and grading of patent foramen ovale. This course is designed for physicians and sonographers. Both Category 1 and SVU CME credit are offered. My name is Paul Wong. I'm an interventional cardiologist here. Um, and um, I uh, do uh, PFO closures. Oh, case study number one, PFO diagnosis. This was a 48-year-old male with a history of bilateral vision loss. He had left hand numbness for several minutes, and he had come into the hospital, and we did a bubble study, and this is the study. So this is his at-rest injection. This is, I think, a 23 gauge, so it takes a while for that to go in. Here they come. I always ask the patient to kind of hold their head, hair for me when they have long hair. And then I put the head frame on, pull the hair back. You want that to be kind of below that occipital bun there. And then you kind of look, make sure that you have plenty of access. And on Chrislin, you do. If this was a patient that I was seeing for the first time, as I had said today earlier, it might be a really good idea to find their windows first before you put the head frame on and then have an idea where they are so you don't cover them up. So now I'm kind of making this a little um, tighter here, and we're going to go ahead and find our windows. So you want to monitor the MC and AC um, primarily because that's where the majority of the um, blood goes, so you would get um, more air bubbles going to those vessels as opposed to the PCA. So this will be the resting injection. Um, the blood kind of helps. Um, make the bubbles actually smaller, which would mean you would have more bubbles. So um, what we're going to look for here is first, first um, an intense signal in the pulmonary artery, which confirms that the bubbles are reaching the heart. And then we'll count how many beats it takes for it to get to the heart. And that'll be um, when we have the patient strained during the second part of the test. So when she injects, I'll press save. So that marks on this machine, that'll mark when she injected. It's about, that was about seven beats over the air bubble. And then one or two beats that we see them arrive in the head. This is midline. Anything on the other side of this is the contralateral side. And so when we put color on here, it should light up. Again, we sample every half a centimeter or every centimeter. So again, that looks pretty good. And then the deeper you go, you'll start to see the ACA, which would be in blue, and it'd be going off in this direction. This, actually, you have a very good image of the P1 segment. Okay. And then you can see it wrapping around here. That's the first time that I can see yes. P2. <laughs> so I always tell people, use your MCA ACA bifurcation as your landmark. That's your terminal screen. So come back up and you'll get your ACA. Come in and see that. Hear how low it sounds? I see. Now. Okay. Yep, that's excellent. Now for the other side, I should use this. Use your left hand. Yeah, I won't let you scan it. Um, I won't let you scan reaching around. I'm a tough teacher. <laughs> 
For additional information or to register for this course, please go to www.pvicme.com or call 425-398-7772.